Hi lovely people, I am Anisha and you can write to me at tarobyanisha at gmail.com for personal consultations. You can also visit my website www.tarobyanisha.com where I blog a lot and I should rather be blogging more than I am blogging currently. So that is one of my um, things to be done uh, in 2015. I am not going to be calling it a resolution because I'm sure by default I'm going to be breaking it but uh, there's going to be a conscious effort to write more. I love writing and I love tarot and astrology so that should not be tough is what I tell myself. Now uh, I'm often asked this that uh, why is it an astrology channel when you call it a tarot by Anisha. So the website came before the channel did hence by default I thought it would be nice to maintain a synergy. On this channel on Tarot by Anisha, they are all astrology predictions. I follow the Western astrology by the simple reason that I have studied it and I understand it better. And also I find Western astrology uh, in a way far more, uh, not just relevant, but I think it's, it's evolving. It keeps uh, taking into account the newer planets that are there and the effects that they may have. So you have Uranus, you have Pluto, you also have... Uh, Chiron, which we uh, look at in Western astrology. Uh, tarot is an indicative science. It's beautiful. It's it's very gentle. It's uh, brilliant in um, predicting uh, people, describing people, uh, the immediate uh, uh, course of action. But what tarot does not do for you is that it does not take a decision for you. So the entire accountability lies with you. Tarot will never say that. Uh, should you go 20 times to a, a temple and wear only yellow on Saturdays, it will get done. Um, it does, however, give you uh, always the freedom to practice what you want to practice, uh, whether you feel happy about going to a temple, a church, a mosque. It's really your own personal decision. Tarot has nothing to do with religion. It is just, like I said, it's, it's a very gentle science. It's, it's extremely indicative. It just picks up on the, on the current circumstances, on the subconscious. And then it is upon the, the tarot reader's expertise to interpret uh, the reading as to how he or she will do it. I combine astrology along with tarot because it, it just gives it a little bit more structure and I feel more... Um, I feel more happier using it. I, I, I like combining both the sciences to look at it. So for personal consultation, I do look at the chart, I do look at the astrology, uh, the way the planets are placed, and then I like to look at the cards. And uh, I would say 80% of the time, it all ties in very beautifully, and that makes me feel very happy and very satisfied. Tarot is not fortune telling. Uh, I can't tell you whether you will get married tomorrow or whether you're going to get fired today. Uh, tarot does, however, tell you what you need to be doing. Uh, where it is that you need which part of your life you need to be changing in order to be leading that fulfilling life or that life that you envision for yourself or the partner that you envision for yourself or um, you know the kind of work that you want for yourself or maybe there have been obstacles in your life and you've just been going on in that stagnant way so what is it that really needs to get uh, changed in your life that is where the tarot comes in beautifully and tells you that these are the areas and how it is that you or, or what is it that you need to be doing uh, in order to being that person so you can be at that place where you can uh, have that kind of a fulfilling life tarot is um, I also have people often telling me that oh I had such a bad experience and someone told me that it was I'm really scared I don't want to know so yeah I, and it always amuses me a lot because there's really nothing bad about a tarot. Uh, it's, it's so beautiful and even if you get reversed cards or the card of death or the tower, it just speaks about uh, blockages, it speaks about delays, it speaks about a time to um, a rewind, a time to relook at things, a time not to rush into action or maybe something that you've been waiting for to um, manifest does not happen. That is all that it does. There's nothing bad about a, a, or scary about a tarot. I think it's one of the most uplifting, beautiful, um, inspiring uh, a tool that has been ever created and uh, like I said again it's upon the person who's interpreting it as to how it is finally you're able to interpret it. Thank you so much for stopping by at my channel and listening to what I have to say. I do hope sincerely that you enjoy watching them and that they make 
even if they make a 5% of a difference in your life and if there's some value I'm able to add through these videos in your life, my job is done. done. I do hope that you keep watching. They have made with all the sincerity and all the love and all the honesty that I feel towards tarot and towards astrology. And um, I hope you enjoy them uh, watching as much as I enjoy creating them. Stay well and lots of love.